Hi, I'm Jacob, co-founder and CEO of Revenue Cat. We're about to make an update to entitlements and offerings, and I wanted to give you a preview of what it means for your app. We weren't very happy with how messy it was to configure and unpack products and offerings with the current SDK, too many hard-coded identifiers, and lots of unwrapping. So we're introducing a change to offerings that allows multiple products to be accessed under a single offering, a concept we're calling packages. This will make it much easier and cleaner to use our API. Here's that same example using our new offerings endpoint. There's no hard-coded strings and there's much less unwrapping. We've also decoupled entitlements from offerings. So now you don't have to worry about products being attached to an offering for it to unlock an entitlement. We've decoupled what a product unlocks from how it's displayed. To get set up with our new system, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is configure entitlements to be associated directly to products. The subscription status endpoints will respect both the legacy and the new systems, but it's best to have the configuration in the new place. You'll then wanna set up your offerings, which is gonna be how the products are displayed inside your app. And once you've done that, last thing to do is update your purchases SDK to version 3.0, you'll need to migrate the entitlements call to the new offerings call and change from the make purchase call to purchase package, but that's it. Legacy offerings are going to be supported in perpetuity, so if you don't feel like migrating right now, don't worry about it. We're going to continue to support the 2.0 version of the SDK as long as we need to. So if you want to get started, head over to our docs and find the migration guide. If you have any questions or comments, just hit us up on support at revenuecat.com. Thanks a lot.